Hi everyone, in this video, teacher are going to share what is the factors that affect the rate of enzyme reaction. There are four factors which can affect the mechanism of enzyme action which are temperature, pH value, substrate concentration and enzyme concentration. For the temperature, the graph of the rate of enzyme reactions is a bell-shaped graph. You can divide the graph into three parts, 1, 2, and 3. At 0 degrees Celsius, the rate of enzyme reaction is the lowest because enzyme is inactive. When the temperature is increases, the rate of enzyme activity is also increases. This is because the kinetic energy of the substrate molecules and enzyme is also increases. So, there are more collision between substrates and also the enzyme molecules. So, that's why the reaction is increases. This enzyme reaction will double up for every 10 degrees Celsius rises in temperature until it's reached the optimum temperature which is 37 degrees Celsius. At 37 degrees Celsius, the rate of enzyme reaction is maximum because 37 degrees Celsius is the optimum temperature for the enzyme reaction in human body. 3. After the optimum temperature, any further increase in temperature will reduce the enzyme activity rapidly until it stops at 60 degrees Celsius. At 60 degrees Celsius, the enzyme starts to denature or destroy. So the size of the enzyme will change. Enzyme cannot bind with the substrates to carry out the reaction. So the rate of enzyme reaction is the lowest. The enzyme activity is also influenced by the pH of the surrounding solution. Generally, all enzymes react most effectively at their optimum pH value. For example, in stomach, the rate of reaction for renin and pepsin is the highest in acidic medium around pH value 1 or 2. Optimal pH for salivary amylase and most enzyme in animal cell is at pH 6.8. But for trypsin in duodenum, the rate of reaction is the highest when the medium is slightly alkaline at pH 8. For the next factors, which is substrate concentration and enzyme concentration, teacher would like to share this analogy first. For example, if you want to make a cake, you need to have 1 kilogram of flour, 5 eggs, so that you can have 1 cake. So it means that if you want to make 2 cake, you have to have 2 kilograms of flour and of course 10 eggs. So let's say, if you have 10 eggs, but you have only one kilogram of flour, can you make two cakes? Of course not, right? Because you have a limited resources of flour, so you can only produce one cake. So, in order to have more cake, you need to have more flour and also more egg. For the next factor, which is enzyme concentration and substrate concentration, we are going to use this analogy. When the substrate concentration increases, the collision between substrate and enzyme molecules are also increases. That's why the rate of enzyme reaction will increases until it reaches the maximum point. After this point, the rate of enzyme reaction become constant. At the maximum point here, the concentrations of enzyme become limiting factors. 
The reactions rate can only be increases when the concentrations in enzyme increases. Remember our analogy before, if you want to have more cake, you need to have more flour and also the egg. So the graph for enzyme concentration is same as the substrate concentration graph. So you can see here, when the concentrations of enzyme increases, the rate of enzyme reaction is also increases. Because we have more active sites of the enzyme which can bind with the substrate. So you can see when the enzyme concentration increases, the rate of enzyme reaction is also increases until the maximum point. So after this maximum point, the rate of enzyme reaction becomes constant because the concentrations of substrate become the limiting factors. So if you want to increase the rate of enzyme reaction after this point, you must add up more substrate. So we have learned about the four factors that affect the rate of enzyme activity. One application of this factor is to preserve our food. Normally, we put our food inside of the refrigerator or freezer. The idea to preserve the food is to slow down the actions of the enzyme of the bacteria. If our food at room temperature, the bacteria can grow faster because their enzyme is active. That's why our food can spoil. One way to preserve our food and make sure our food lasts longer is put them in the refrigerator. So do you know why uh, this preservation method is important? So in refrigerator, the temperature is about 0 degrees Celsius to 4 degrees Celsius. So the temperature is very low the activity of the enzyme for these bacteria is also low. So that's why the bacteria is inactive and they are growing very slow. And make your food last longer. Thanks for watching and wait for the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.